Hey, 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 Libra. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, June 9th to the 10th intuitive love tarot read. This is for my Libra's sun, moon, rising, Venus, Jupiter, and north node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Libra, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. Thank you so much for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this video resonates with you. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, the information to my Etsy shop can be found in the description box below. I'm going to pull four cards here, Libra, and then get a channeled message for you from spirits. Okay. All right. The tower at the bottom of the deck, Libra. Three of Swords. The High Priestess. The Five of Cups. And the King of Cups. Okay, let's get this message, Libra. Okay, they're showing me... <laughs> They're showing me what is with the presidents lately. I get messages about presidents and I am not a history buff. It's crazy the messages that they give to me. They're showing me Abraham Lincoln <laughs> and they're starting his speech, you know, four scores and uh, however that goes. I'm not a history person, so I'm not sure why, why are you showing me that? Okay, they're saying there's a tall otter in, uh, ahead of you, but they could have told me that. I think there's something more to that. Read the speech. That's what I, I feel compelled to tell you. Read that speech. Was it the Gettysburg Address? Yes, okay. Read the Gettysburg Address. I don't know why there would be something in that for somebody. But there's something, okay, you're going to have to sort of rise above whatever's going on around you because, and I feel it has to do with this tower here. Um, yeah, towers are not, they're surprising energy, not bad energy because you're always rebuilding after a tower moment. Is it a surprise? Yes. Does it shock the shit out of you? Most of the time, yes. Um, well, always it's a surprise. Whether that's a good surprise or bad surprise, you'll have to determine that. But it's all going to be different for everybody out there watching this. Um, see, now I'm going to have to go read that address after this. Uh, okay. <clears throat> there is something you're keeping to yourself. And I do feel it has to do with heartbreak. So Libra is there. there you may have had this tower moment already. Okay, because you've got the five of cups, the three of swords, uh, you're emotionally, you're not balanced right now. You're keeping this to yourself. I feel that if you had a recent breakup or a falling out with a significant other, you're not saying anything. You're not speaking about it. You're keeping it to yourself. You're trying to listen to your intuition. You're trying to heal what's there, but it's, you know, it's got you in despair. It's got you in possible regrets about the past okay it's got you all up in your feels libra let's clarify what the hell is the gettysburg address that that's the strangest um yeah i had truman the other day and you know what's funny libra while i'm thinking of this so i'm typing something what the heck was i typing I forget what I was typing and it had nothing to do. Oh, I know what I was typing. I was typing, I was doing an order, right? An automatic writing order. So the name started with, um, 
a T, but it had it was a it was a different name. I forget the name. But it had a Q in it. Blah blah blah. So I'm writing to this person before I add um, her order to it, and I look up and I see Harry S. Truman, and I'm like, where did that come from? Right? Like I and it's not like it's in my you know, vocabulary for my texting because I don't normally talk about Harry S. Truman. I'm not a history buff. That was not my favorite subject in school. It was, I had no interest, right? So the only reason I have interest now in history is because of the messages that I get, which is kind of funny. I don't know why they give me these messages, but anyway. So I look up Truman, right, the president, I also had Roosevelt come to me in a dream, but Harry S. Truman, he's got my birthday. So I still don't know what this message means. I'm sure there's more to come, but like shit like that happens to me. So I don't know what's up with these presidents lately, but you got Abraham Lincoln. Um, and see, and this is why I swear they do this on purpose so that I'll, I'll learn more about history for some reason or another, why they want me to learn more about the history um, when it comes to like political and military shit, I don't know because it's, uh, yeah. okay, Libra, sorry about that. So you're hiding this heartbreak, okay? Tell me about the high priestess. Why are you hiding it? I want to know why you're hiding it. Mm. Ace of Cups. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's like you got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like uh, this was supposed to be a new love, I guess. That's what I'm feeling. And somebody walked away for a new love. Like somebody walked away from you for new love with the Eight of Cups. Clarify this um, Ace of Cups again. Let me see. Hmm. And it could be to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. doesn't have to be. Yeah. You got the lovers clarifying the Ace of Cups and the Temperance card. So there's a lot of healing that needs to be, um, needs to be dealt with here surrounding this Ace of Cups, this new love. And with the lovers card, there is always that third energy, right? There's always that third energy that comes between these lovers. And I feel here, something did. It could have been this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, this is making you anxious, keeping you up at night. You're finding it hard to sleep, possibly. Ten of Pentacles is clarifying the Three of Swords. It's like the breaking up of a family for some of you. The Queen of Swords is Gemini. You're trying to look at this from a balanced perspective, and you're trying to figure out what your future is now. Because you want abundance. You want, the, you know, this is marriage, loyalty, prosperity. You will be victorious over this. And you will find the strength to come out of this with the strength card here. Okay, the five of cups is clarified by the page of swords. So you went snooping, Libra, and found something that you didn't like. So with the four of swords here, you're healing. This could be a divorce with a justice card. It could have to, well, that is Libra. It's also a twin flame card, but it's karmic justice. Whatever's happening, know that it's supposed to. Tell me about the king of cups, seven of pentacles. You're trying to be balanced again. You're trying to find your balance. You're trying to figure out what you want to invest your time in, right? How is love going to look for you right now with soulmate twin flame energy? And where do you even want to invest in love again? Clarify this two of cups. Knight of wands. Yeah, you're, I, I feel a lot of confusion. I feel like you're all over the place in your head. You're all over the place. Your anxiety, your sadness, I think it switches 
from being sad to anxious, staying up at night, you know, almost like insomnia, trying to be strong to get through this healing. You will have victory over this healing because you're trying to look at this logically. You're trying to look at this in a very logical way. What am I going to do about this? What should I do? Where do I need to invest my time? Should I be patient for this relationship to wait? Should I wait? Or should I embrace change? What do you do? What do you do? So what advice do you have for Libra? What advice do you have for Libra? King of Wands. What are you passionate about, Libra? That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What are you passionate about? You've got to find that because this is your opportunity to, to run with that. Okay. I feel this is all happening because of that. Spirit wants you to find what's light. What, Spirit wants you to find what lights your fire. What is it? And if you don't know, Spirit's pushing you to find it, to figure that shit out. This is God, spirit, whatever you want to call the higher power you believe in, giving you an opportunity to find this out. And if a tower has to happen in order for you to do it, that's just how the cookie crumbles. But know that this is destiny and this is what you need to do to become the best version of yourself. Queen of Cups. What do you love? What lights your fire? You've got the king of the king of wands and the queen of cups. I'm feeling is you is what gets you excited, right? And I do feel this has to do with career. It is a pinnacle, okay? But it has to do with doing something you love to do. You've got to figure it out. If you don't know, if you're watching this and you're like, well, I don't know. You've got to search and find out. Find out what's in your heart. What lights you up? Okay. What could you do for work that doesn't even seem like work? Right? Even though you're expending energy, it's just like time flies. Right? That's something that you need to look at. And I feel like, yeah, this is going to lead to your wish fulfillment all in the end. Okay. Now, whether this relationship uh, is worked on, you know, behind closed doors because it is sort of being kept secret or you move on after this healing is all going to be up to you and your experience and what you want. Okay. But know that this is all ending in wish fulfillment. Okay, Libra. Sorry for the ramble, but... Uh, look up the Gettysburg Address. I have no idea. And let me know in the comments if you find something in that. Okay. All right, Libra, I hope you, this helped you. I hope it made sense. Um, please drop a like below, share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The information can be found in the description box below. You have yourself a fantastic day, Libra. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.